regular body shop that does a little bit more stuff. We do custom paint work. Everything from a minor fender bender, a door ding, key scratch, to something that's been, you know, absolutely smashed by something. And then with the custom paint part of the things, we do cars, motorcycles, boats, you name it, pretty much anything. Custom paint to a lot of people is the fancy, bright, hot rods, the restoration stuff, motorcycles, but the custom part of it can get more into just off the wall stuff. Uh, I've painted refrigerators, the Yeti tumbler cups that we talked about. I just painted a guy's entry door on his house the other day, at his house, <laughs> on, his, on his house. We really don't turn down much. I mean, we try to, we try to do anything we can. It keeps us versatile and keeps us busy. As a kid, I was, I grew up around my dad. He fixed cars on the side. Starting off with him, fixing cars when I was uh, real young. Um, but uh, my grandma actually was an artist and she taught art classes in schools and uh, all over South Bend area and stuff like that. She had a ton of grandkids. She taught all of us art, that was just what she liked. And so I did a lot of like actual art when I was a kid, painting, drawing, stuff like that. Just enjoyed that kind of stuff. And then as I started getting older, I was probably 10, maybe 12, I got an airbrush and would like airbrush models, cars and t-shirts and stuff like that. As I got a little bit older and started changing of model cars and t-shirts to actual cars and bikes, helmets, I painted a lot of stuff for people for next to nothing just to start getting your name out there and everything because like with motorcycles, you take somebody's Harley that's a $25,000 motorcycle and if you don't have a, a portfolio or something, how do you how do you tell somebody, hey, I'm good enough to do this to your motorcycle? You know what I mean? They're, they're going to be like, oh, this guy's crazy. I, was, I would have made more money bagging groceries, you know, by far. Um, but that was one of those things where I felt like I had to do to build a reputation. And, and quality has always been the thing. If you don't do quality, don't, there's no sense in doing it at all. My car is a 2006 Corvette Z06. Um, back when those cars first came out, I was in my mid-20s. They were probably the neatest, fastest Corvette ever made, in my opinion. It was something that I had always wanted. Didn't necessarily want to custom paint it at first, but I bought a yellow one. I'm not a fan of yellow. So I was like, well, I'll paint it. You know, I'll use it for the business type thing. I'll, I'll, I'll make something cool of it. Wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with it. I just wanted it to be different. I wanted it to be bright. And I wanted some people to love it, and I wanted some people to go, this guy absolutely ruined this car. And because that's the personal touch, that I wanted to do. I've done so many cars over the years, I've done so many motorcycles over the years, and everything was like perfect and pristine and the edges were nice and sharp and tight and everything. And that's what I prided myself on, was doing stuff that looked perfect. Well, I wanted something that was so wild that didn't have to be perfect. Over the process of painting the car, over the eight months it took to do it, at different stages, you know, you have different thoughts and different processes and so on and so forth. So that's why the car looks so different from one side to the other. And I kind of, I did the or the passenger side first, and then I did the driver's side, and then I did the hood, and then the back, and then just kind of put it all together, and then blended everything together. So as you walk around the car, it kind of changes almost as you go. And it was just kind of a fun thing. And you tried to do, I pretty much did everything that you're not supposed to do with paint. Sanded it while it was still wet, used my hands in it, finger painted it, blew it around with thinner, I mean, it reacted in some places, and just, you know, it, it turned out really cool. There's stuff on it that, even my paint manufacturer guy that comes in, he's one of the reps, he's, he's looked at it, and he said, he goes, I've, I've never seen anything look like this. And that was the goal I was after. I wanted it to be one of a kind, something different, something that not everybody else had. Well, uh, you know, future plans, this one took me 10 times as long as I had hoped it would. Uh, I've always sold the other car in order to fund the next project type of thing. This one I'll probably I'll probably sell it anyway because I don't I don't really keep anything. I'm always on to the next. I'm actually thinking about possibly doing a raffle and raffling the car off. When I post when I post those pictures, it blew up everywhere. I mean, different pages were sharing it and stuff. So it's it's getting a ton of exposure. So somebody's gonna want it. So I think the raffle is a great idea. And then if I do that, then I'll I'll do another one. I'll start and I'll you know you always want to one up what you've done last. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to one-up this, but that'll be, you know, it'll be something newer and just kind of keep going and keep going on it. Check out ampcustompaint.com to see more of Adam's work. For the past